Hi, welcome to Corporate Maths video on Fibonacci. Now, I absolutely love teaching Fibonacci sequences to my classes. There's so many fantastic things you can do within the classroom on it. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna explain what the Fibonacci sequence is, and I'm gonna explain um, how to answer questions with Fibonacci style sequences. So the Fibonacci sequence, well, we're gonna start off with the numbers one and one, and to get the next term in the Fibonacci sequence, just add the two previous terms. So if we add together one plus one, we get two. If we do two plus one, we get three. Three plus two, we get five. Five plus three, we get eight. Eight plus five is 13. 13 plus eight is 21, and so on, and so on, and so on. And that's the Fibonacci sequence. So these are Fibonacci numbers. One, one, two, three, five, eight, 13, 21. And this is the Fibonacci sequence. And it's fine by just starting off with the numbers one and one, adding them together to get the next number, then taking the one and two, adding them together to get three, two and three, adding them together to get five, and so on, and so on. Sometimes if you look online and you look up the Fibonacci sequence, you might see that it, instead of starting with one and one, it might start off with zero and one. And again, if you just generate that, zero plus one is one, one plus one is two, one plus two is three, two plus three is five, and so on. So the only difference is that this one's got a zero in the front. Um, it, it doesn't really matter which one you use. I tend to use the one at the top. I, I like that one. Um, sometimes you might see a zero at the front of it. Sometimes you might not. Okay, so that's the Fibonacci sequence, and these are Fibonacci numbers. Let's look at Fibonacci style sequences. So the next term in a Fibonacci style sequence is just fine by adding the two previous terms. So in the same style, but just not with the numbers one and one, it could be other numbers. So here we've got a Fibonacci style sequence. So two plus seven is nine. 7 plus 9 is 16. We've been asked to generate the next three numbers or find the next three terms. So 9 plus 16, well 9 plus 16 is 25. 16 plus 25 would be 41. And 25 plus 41 would be equal to 66. So they would be the next three terms in that Fibonacci cell sequence. So you just add the two previous numbers. Okay, our next question. Our next question says find the next three terms of this Fibonacci style sequence. So we've got negative uh, six plus 10. So negative six plus 10 is four. So then 10 plus four is equal to 14. Four plus 14 is equal to 18. And 14 plus 18 is equal to 32 and so on. So our last example says find the next two terms of this Fibonacci style sequence. And the first three terms are 3a plus 4b, a plus 7b, 4a plus 11b. So let's just check and see here how that was generated. So 3a plus a is 4a, and 4b plus 7b is 11b. So let's find our next term. So we would add these two terms together, the a plus 7b and the 4a plus 11b. So a plus 4a would be 5a, plus 7b plus 11b would be 18b. So that's the fourth term. And finally, the fifth term uh, would be 4a plus 5a is 9a, and 11b plus 18b would be 29b. And that's it. So Fibonacci style sequences can lead themselves quite nicely to algebra questions like this one. Um, but just remember to generate a Fibonacci style sequence or Fibonacci type sequence, just add together the two previous terms to get the next one and so on.